what was it about punk rock that changed young musicians like yourself that were going down a path like a more prog rock path what was it what that you know because everyone says it's like the next day was like a whole new yeah. era what what was it that was going on well it suddenly gave people license to to pick up the guitar if they ever thought about doing it but people that, that had the desire to to play an instrument but not the skills or necessarily didn't really want to be much of an instrumentalist but wanted to play on stage you know there's another reason really a lot of people just want to be up there or up here and and not so interested in studying like you guys i think it's really important all of it if i'm honest you know the visuals it's all the entertaining side of it is is, is as important the performance as is your knowledge of music This is New York, and we went over there en masse, really. It was, it was a statement that we were making. It wasn't just about the band, Spandau. Um, we were making a far bigger sort of uh, youth culture, pop culture statement, and no one had really, Americans didn't know what this new style, this new movement, this new music was all about. We didn't stop that traffic or, the, you know, um, get them sitting there for a while. We just said, right, now. And we ran into the road, yeah. It was like, Go. And, and, and that's exactly how it was. I it love was the idea of stop the traffic. That's yeah, what it said yeah, to me. Yeah, it's like, we yeah. stop traffic. <laughs> when I'm deconstructing what Bowie's songs are, songs that sound so simple are really complicated sometimes you know and that and that you know as a writer i'm a writer as well and i know a lot of you are um i think the hardest thing in the world to, to write is is simple just keeping it simple so that it sounds simple and people can sing along to it and you know this it's it is it's, but it's so difficult to do that you know people like him can make a uh, a really complicated song sound so simple uh, you know, there's, uh, there's not many people who can do that. It's strange seeing like the style coming from the 80s and all that sort of stuff being in a time of now. And I don't know what your opinion is on seeing stuff like that happening. It, it's weird that because it's been back for, for a good few years now. I would say even about 10 years. What normally happens is that what's just gone, there has to be some kind of rebelling against that. Something else has got to come in, and rightly so. You can't really like the music of your uh, your parents, otherwise we'd have no youth culture. Um, and and so it took a while before it came back. But when it did, it, 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 the reason why it's been around, I think, is because so many good, a lot of good music, and a lot of good songs, and a lot of good style, and there's a huge, um, uh, rich field that people are still mining from. Right, well, please give it up for Steve Norman for the start. Thank you very much. <laughs>